Welcome back. You're watching In Depth on Data Encryption. Why do we need encryption? Each time we make a phone call using our mobiles or use our credit or debit card to buy something, encryption ensures a confidentiality of the transaction. Basically, encryption is all about transforming intelligible numbers or text, sounds and images into jumbled messages that are not easy to decipher. In this report, let's find out how this works. Encryption is a system that encodes user data in a way that only the intended recipient can read it. It enhances the security of a message or file by scrambling the content, making it unreadable by anyone other than those who have the keys to decode it. In this era of technology, encryption is a necessity. It is one of the most powerful ways to keep our data safe. Although computer encryption became a phenomenon only in the 1990s, Human beings have been using rudimentary encryption since ancient times. In circa 600 BC, the ancient Spartans used a device called a sky tail to send secret messages during battle times. Julius Caesar, in circa 60 BC, invented a substitution cipher that shifted characters by three places. For example, A became D, B became E, and so on. In 1917, an American Edward Heben invented an electromechanical machine in which the key was embedded in a rotating disk. It encoded a substitution table that changed every time a new character was typed. In 1945, Claude Shannon published an article called A Mathematical Theory of Cryptography. This was the starting point of modern cryptography. In the early 1970s, IBM company formed a crypto group that designed a block cipher to protect the company's customer data. In 1976, Whitfield Diffie and Martin Hellman developed an easy method for sending secure messages over insecure channels. With the advent of the internet, their technology, called the public key cryptography, is now used across the world. Encryption is a method by means of which you, put, you can put a digital lock on an electronic record in such a manner that the said electronic record cannot be actually accessed or read by any one person. Look, it still अगर हैकर चाहे तो काफी ज्यादा समय लगेगा उसको कोई भी इंक्रिप्शन लेवल्स को तोड़ने के लिए लेकिन हां अगर इंक्रिप्शन लेवल्स लो लेवल पे होंगे तो उसको जल्दी से आसानी से तोड़ा जा सकता है अगर हायर लेवल पे होंगे तो उसको तोड़ना और ज्यादा दिक्कत हो सकती है द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन हैव लॉन्ग बीन यूज्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट्स एंड मिलिट्रीज अर्लियर सीक्रेट इंफॉर्मेशन वाज लॉक्ड इन अ वॉल्ट अंडर टाइट सिक्योरिटी now, encryption is commonly used to protect information within many kinds of civilian systems. For example, the Computer Security Institute reported that in 2007, 71% companies surveyed used encryption for some of their data in transit, while 53% used encryption for data in storage. Today, not just startup companies, but tech giants have also moved to encrypting user data. क्या चांसेस हैं आधार रिलेटेड अगर इस आधार से रिलेट कर रहे हैं तो उसमें क्या चांसेस हैं कि इसको कॉम्प्रोमाइज किस तरीके से उम्मीद है कि अगर फ्यूचर में होता है तो क्या क्या इसमें फ्लॉज हैं जो अभी लेटेस्ट सिक्योरिटी अपडेट आया है उसमें जो पुराने वाले में तो काफ़ी था कि इनक्रिप्टेड फॉर्मेट में आपका थम इम्प्रेशन नहीं जा रहा था तो इसमें आप ये कह सकते हैं कि जैसे ये जो रीडर्स हैं इनके मशीन्स क्लोनिंग हो सकती है मशीन्स की भी जिस तरीके से पहले सिक्योर आपके क्रेडिट कार्ड मशीन्स भी रही हैं पास्ट में जब वो क्लोन हो गई अनसिक्योर हो गई सारा ब्रीच हुआ सिक्योरिटी ब्रीच हुआ उसके बाद चिप वाले क्रेडिट कार्ड्स आए इस तरीके से फोन के जो सिम कार्ड्स हैं ये भी पास्ट में वो केसेस आए हैं जहाँ पर क्लोन हुए तो इससे रिलेट कर सकते हैं कि जो रीडर्स हैं ये भी एक तरह से क्लोन होकर तो बायोमेट्रिक्स मिस हो सकते हैं टूडे मेनी वेबसाइट यूज अ प्रोटोकॉल कॉल एच टी टी पी एस फॉर इनक्रिप्टिंग डेटा वाइल दिस डज नॉट नेसेसरली गारंटी एब्सोल्यूट सिक्योरिटी the risks are reduced as information being transmitted can only be decrypted by the site it was sent to the main purpose for encrypting the data stored in our computers and devices is to ensure our privacy protect our data and secure intellectual property this is known as endpoint encryption it basically adds an extra layer of protection for the confidential information residing on our computers and devices data stored in removable media such as usb cd dvd or specific files and folders while encryption does not automatically convey security it can still be used to protect a user's identity and privacy for example if we are ever being watched inadvertently or not we can hide our data by using properly implemented crypto systems with input from lena sharma 
ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट राज्यसभा टीवी